hey guys how are you welcome to my channel today i'm excited i bring you a super excited video because i want to talk about my favorites my holy grail favorites new products they are new using they new they're technically not new because i bought them last year by the sephora sale and i've been using this product so much so i'm excited <laughs> to talk about them i think i didn't have dinner today i'm kind of hungry yeah, I totally forgot to eat dinner. Just things happen, you know. Um, oh, by the way, in, one, in the eyeshadow palette that I'm using today is this one by Huda Beauty. In this palette, I got it in TJ Maxx when I went to Florida last year. And believe me, that's when I'm wearing like a green sweater, as you can see. These are the shadows I'm using today. You can see them right there. I'm using this one in the inner tierra. It's beautiful cream. I'm obsessed with this type of colors on my alley. And just I use like a clean brush for my crease. And a little bit of that brown on the, you know, in my lower lash line. So I am obsessed with that TJ Maxx palette. I got it for around $6 in TJ Maxx. I mean, come on, you can't go wrong. So usually those palettes are like, I don't know, $30, $27. I don't remember anymore, $28. Maybe 29, I don't know. I never get her a small palace like this uh, from Sephora. So I got that one in DJ Max and it's working and it's working amazing for me. Today I want to show you the stuff I got in my Sephora sale that I've been using so much and the, those products are my favorite. I want to start with this Tower 28 lip gloss. This one is in the shade Sesame. Sesame. It's a beautiful color. It's the color I'm wearing on my lips right now. You can see. It's not sticky. The formula is extremely comfortable. It's not like my lips are sticky or anything like that. Super comfortable. It reminds me so much of the Pam McGrath Divine Rose lip gloss. So I'm obsessed. I'm using so much this product. You have no idea. The reason is why it's not in my project pan is because I don't feel comfortable putting this in my prayer pan because I am the type of person that I like to switch lip glosses and lip products. So, yeah. But I love it and I've been using it ever since I got it. You can see that I have tons of products and I love this color. This product, I reprocheted this product last year in November. This is what I sell. This is by Hourglass and this one is the Unreal Lip Gloss and this one is in the shade Dusk. It's like a mauve brown shade and it's beautiful. This is my second lip gloss from this brand. I love our glass cosmetic, especially the lip glosses. They're so moisturizing on the lips. They're so contour and they have so much like color. Wow. And my lips look so juicy and beautiful. I love, love, love this product. So I got this one and I've been using it so much. And you can, I don't know if you can be able to see, but it's like, I use it so much that I use this whole thing over here and I only have this left because this is even the mark. Like I only have this left of product. So I'm loving it. I am obsessed with this Marc Jacob highlighter. I use it all the time. I'm using it today. It's a holy grail. This product has been my favorite since I first got it. I didn't get this in the Sephora sale last year. I got it a few years ago, but also in, Sephora, in a Sephora sale. But ever since then, I love so much. It's so creamy. It's like, wow, let me show you. It's super creamy, look. And it's a beautiful, like, peachy gold. I just love so much the texture, everything, I swear. So much. I have so many MAC blushes, but this is one of my favorite blush. And it's for a while. I you know, I got a MAC many years ago. This one is this a rose. The packaging is this beautiful rosy tone shade over here. I just cannot live without this color. I wear this every single day. And I know I have so many blushes, but I just, this one is easy. It's just, it's like a perfect, perfect color for every day. And it looks very nice. I do love it, you know. I'm obsessed with these two lipstick. One is by the brand Lurac. And it looks like this. This color right here. So, so pretty. 
I'm going to make you a swatch. This color is very creamy. Oh, you can see there how beautiful that is. And I love to wear this lipstick like for every day. I love how creamy it is, especially because I suffer with dry lips. And this doesn't like, um, you know, doesn't accentuate my dry lips, you know. I'm also obsessed with this one by Anastasia Revel Hill. And this shade called, by the way, the one from our glass called, our glass. The one by Lorac is Snap Bunny. And now I'm going to show you the one by Anastasia Beverly Hill. This one is Rum Punch. It's a matte lipstick. It looks like this. This color is so, so gorgeous. Like, I love it. I'm going to make a swatch. And I was like very into rosy tones. So I got this one. These two colors, I love to wear them for every day. And this color looks like this, very right? like almost like a wine, like a like a red wine, plum shade. But when you apply, you can kind of like diffuse it, and it looks great for every day. I think those smell so good. I have no idea. I'm using so much, and I'm obsessed with the Mac lip balm, lip conditioner. This one, I use this thing every single day for my dry lips, and it does amazing. It does wonder on my lips. It's amazing. I love this product, but when I feel like I want something more exclusive on my lips, it's amazing, like more, I don't know, I want something like, mm, I don't know how to describe it, but like something, something more uh, excited, you know, that say to me, apply some makeup, like you're ready, like, you know, I go with this Givenchy um, Le Rouge Interdit Balm. And the packaging, I mean, it's gorgeous. You can see that. This is so beautiful. I love to have this on my purse. And this is the color. It looks like a black color, I know, but it's just a lip balm. A lip balm with color, and I want to show you. So pretty. Look. It's this one right here. And depends on the color of your lips, your natural color, it kind of give you that beautiful, like, rosy ready shade depends on the color of your lips your natural color so i love that and believe me it smells so good i love it i could smell this for hours i've been using two lid liners um, by sephora and i'm obsessed they both liquid liner and one is in the shade um uh, what is the name of this one satin cobalt cobalt blue is the shade over here and the other one is my is the Sephora Black Liquid Liner. This one is amazing. This is just a black zero one black eyeliner. I love this product. I love to line my eyes. I'm not wearing a liner today, but I usually every day when I just wear my lashes, I usually like to apply a little bit of this. Or when I feel like a little bit, I don't know, more excited, I like to wear this blue one on my eyelids this mac lip scrub this thing it's like the sugar particles are so fine finer than the sugar is amazing it's so weird but they're just so fine and it smells so good i like to scrub my lips with this product every day and yeah this is amazing this is for mac and it is it calls sweet vanilla because it tastes like vanilla and i love this product so much so when it comes to eyeshadow palettes, I am obsessed with my Vizia Neutral Matte Eyeshadow Palette. I love this palette so much. I mean, you can never go wrong with this type of palette. You have absolutely everything here. You got a uh, highlighter shade for the brow bone, for the inner tear that you got all these blending shades. It's bronze for the crease, for the lower lash line. If you want to create some smoky eye looks, you got this beautiful black here, this brown, or this one. You even have topic colors, you know, cool tones. I'm obsessed with this palette. I use it every day. Is um, you know, I had the one by Patricia. Patricia, I got that one last year uh, by the Sephora sale. The shadows are going they're very creamy, but the, I'm not a huge fan, if I'm honest. Compare, if I had to pick between this one and the Patricia that I have right now in my collection, 
Mm, definitely this one because the patches that the formula is nice, but I just feel like the colors they're kind of like weird. They're like I don't know. This like they looks kind of weird on my on my eyelids and my crease. I feel like some of the toppy shades look too cool tone for my for my taste. And the new dress still look a little bit cool tones. The warms they look cool, but they're not warm enough. If that makes sense. So yeah, I definitely go with this one. I'm obsessed with this palette. It's part of my collection. I it's part of my vanity. I use it every day. I also obsessed with my bright mattes by Viseart. Oh, every time I want a color, a pastel color. Like you see this color that I have here by Huda. I mix this and I could mix this with a little bit of this one in white and I get the same color. And it's like you can never go wrong. You you have here basically all the shades to play all the, the rainbow shades to to create your own colors or if you want some pastels or if you want like a very very vibrant color because you feel like it's winter and you need something like bright and crazy i love this palette by vcr bright max for every day when i go out i like to wear this one by natasha denona natasha denona i need a new this palette gorgeous look now this is one of my favorite palettes i wear the shadow all the time they're very basic you don't need so much so much effort you just put the shadows pop the shimmers on the eyelid they increase a little bit of these new colors the mattes and you're ready to go and that is great i also been playing so much with my tarly in bloom eyeshadow palette and this palette don't even get me started it's so beautiful also for every day i love these beautiful shimmers I love those mattes to kind of, you know, blend on my crease, on my little lash line, and create such a sophisticated, um, brighter, brighter look. You know what I mean? Really, really, really beautiful palette to obsess. And I love the mirror. Look at the mirror, how like big it is. It's great. So those are like my four favorite eyeshadow palettes that I've been using so much. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>